We got out to Costco May 20th for our monthly Costco trip, and the last time we went to Costco was April 22nd. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name's Amanda, and today we did a Costco trip, so let me go over everything that we got. I always tend to get normally about the same things on every trip. I got more string cheese to last us the last few weeks of school and into the beginning of summer. I got gluten-free Canyon Bakehouse bread. It is gluten-free. It's really tasty. I really like making my bread from, you know, in the bread machine, but we've just been a little bit busy lately. So being that this is the last few weeks of school, I definitely thought let's just get it. A hamburger buns being that it's going to be Memorial Day weekend. I wanted to make a hamburger bun from scratch that I've been looking at this recipe, but I have not had time again. I also got some sliced cheese, it was on sale. We got some burger patties, they were on sale for a great price at Costco. I love getting the rotisserie chicken so we can do Caesar salad or Caesar chicken wraps for my husband for work. I got um, calamati olives for salads, some Cholula hot sauce some garlic so that way I'm ready for when I make some homemade salsa this summer. I got some ranch that was on sale. My kids love ranch. I got some heavy whipping cream as well to make some more ice cream. I got some flank steak. My family absolutely loves eating flank steak. All the kids do so that's a huge hit. I got some more chicken breasts. They were on sale so I was really excited about that. More bacon. I got some feta cheese. I got some pineapple. My daughter and I love eating the pineapple. That's the frozen chunks. It's really nice and refreshing when it's hot out. But definitely, yeah, I got the feta cheese because I want to do a watermelon with feta cheese. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that in a bit. And I got some blueberries, some strawberries. The chicken was a great deal from Costco this time around. Uh, it was $5 off. So I got six packs of chicken with two pieces of chicken breast in each pack, and I got it for $25. I also like to cut the packs up before I freeze them in the freezer. It's easier to pull them out afterwards. I got more Mexican cheese. That's something we get every month because we go through it quite a bit. Drumsticks were on sale, so the boys were really excited to see that. <laughs> they definitely wanted that in the shopping cart. Some ham. Everyone likes ham cheese roll-ups. They're easy ham sandwiches. I also got some hot dogs. They were on sale and they're gluten free. So they're perfect to have in the summer in a pinch. Also got some more Parmesan cheese, Greek yogurt. I normally don't splurge on treats like gummy bears, but we have a trip coming up soon to where I'm traveling to Virginia with the kids and they'll be easy for a little snack in the car. Also picked up the soft and chewy granola bars by the Kirkland brand. My kids really like those. And I also got some gluten free uh, protein chewy bars um they are really good i really like them it's a peanut butter dark chocolate gluten-free i really like it <laughs> they're tasty those are also perfect for putting in my diaper bag for on the go also for the trip it'd be perfect for that and i got some more applesauce pouches my kids absolutely love applesauce and then i saw it was on sale it was a peanut butter granola and it is the kind brand and it's gluten free and it is really tasty my son and i have been eating it like as a cereal with milk it's really good i had it the other day on top of yogurt and it was really nice and crunchy i really liked it and it's gluten free too so i was really happy about that and it was on sale so that was a bonus we picked up some cheez it so that way we have some summer snacks um it was on sale so that i felt like i could go with that it was a great deal I don't normally like to buy it when it's full price. So if things are on sale, that's when I tend to get it. And then I got some russet potatoes, a 10 pound bag. It was actually only $4.89 for that big bag. And we grabbed paper plates to make things a little easier around the house for the summertime. And also we got water and Gatorade as well as our normal things that we get. My two sons and I, we went out to Food Line a few days ago and we picked up some fresh fruit and we got a, wa a seedless watermelon actually. And my son is so excited that I am finally cutting this up. He really loves watermelon, which is why we are growing watermelon for the first time in our garden. And he just, he keeps saying, it's a watermelon grown yet, are we ready? Well, all we have is flowers right now on our watermelon plant. So he is really excited that I am cutting this up. But we waited until after our Costco trip so I could cut it up so I could make a yummy summer basil feta cheese watermelon 
it's such a great summer treat. I know we're not in summer yet, but it's hot here in North Carolina. So for us, it's kind of like summer. I know we're in springtime, but it is so fresh when you add the basil and all those fresh ingredients to it. So I told him we needed to wait until after our Costco trip because that way we could pick up some feta cheese and he could try a yummy treat. So when I lived on Cape Cod, I really liked taking watermelon and cutting it up and putting it with basil because I had a little herb garden on our little um, deck outside. And that was about all that I had was actually basil and mint. And so I fell in love with just doing watermelon and basil. And then over the years, I started adding other things like feta cheese to it. Then I added balsamic vinegar to it. So now I am adding some other tasty treats to it. And this is so nice especially after a Costco trip and you know you just you you walk around maybe for an hour or two in Costco picking out stuff and and it can be tiring and then you unloading everything bringing it in the house putting it away and then you just want something really easy to put together afterwards because you're hungry so I thought since we had the watermelon we got the feta cheese and we got some other stuff too to add to it as well so this was perfect for our little um, treat after Costco so for this watermelon salad, I am just dicing up the watermelon into bite sizes and placing it on top of a plate. And then I'm going to take some strawberries and I'm going to slice those up as well into bite size. And then just take the strawberries and place them on top of the watermelon. And then I'm also going to put some blueberries on top too, because that'll be really nice. I really love the nice fresh flavor. It's just so good. We needed some fresh basil, so what better place than to actually go out your back door? It's like a little grocery store and get some basil and it's fresh. So we got some to add to our watermelon salad. Now you just add some feta cheese to the top of all your fruits and you can go heavy or you can go light on how much feta cheese you would like to add to it. It's just, it's your preference for how much feta cheese you want in each bite basically off like a good chunk and I just break it apart and sprinkle it on top and this way you know like I said you can add as much or as little as you'd like depends on how much you want up the basil that we just picked from outside and I actually really like taking scissors to my basil when I am like placing it on top to garnish and to enhance the flavors so I am just um, taking scissors to it and cutting it into strips and then I will distribute equally on top of all the feta cheese and on top of the fruit. It's going to be really nice with every little bite getting some of that fresh basil. I'm using this for a balsamic glaze. And I'm just going to go ahead and just drizzle it over top of the watermelon salad. You can use any type of balsamic glaze you like. I've gotten this one from Costco. Um, I really like this one. It's nice and thick. And I'm just spreading it on top with a nice pretty drizzle motion and here's how the watermelon salad looks and now I'm actually going to go ahead and add some pecans to give it a nice little crunch. Now the watermelon salad is completely done. It's beautiful. Every bite is going to be full of flavor. I love the pecans for the crunch. Every bite in this is so fresh and mouth-watering with every little flavor that goes into this but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching please subscribe and please try making this